Hi. I'm back. Husband's always wondering who am I talking to? I'm talking to my YouTube fans. Nice day again. I'm outside, but I'm not gardening. I'm not walking. This is going to be a craft video. Not now, I'm crafting. And what are we going to do? Well, bought these. At, well, I didn't buy them. I got them for free at the thrift store. They were getting rid of these. They wouldn't sell. And uh, so I rescued them, brought them home. I'm not crazy about the color and the shiny finish on them. But I've seen some YouTube videos where um, people um, like chalk paint these or something and then they, they add baking soda to their paint and it makes it look like textured, almost like a cement. And um, I'm going to give that a try. What's the worst that could happen? They were heading for the dump, so I don't know what they're supposed to be. Are they a, some sort of a partridge or something? There's a family. See, there's a daddy, mommy, big sister, little sister, just like my family. Okay, so one of the tips I learned was if you have this shiny stuff on, and you could see I tried to sand it, it didn't work. It didn't take much off. It took a little paint off, but it's still got a lot of shiny. So my paint won't stick, they said, on these other YouTube videos I watched. So what, what somebody suggested is to spray it with a clear coat some sort of sealer or something. Well, I don't have any of that, but I have this um, pretty bright blue paint, spray paint, and I figure, well, I'll just spray it with that. <laughs> I mean, that might work, just to have something for the paint to stick to, because this isn't what I want it to end up being. I want it to, it's gonna, it's gonna have layers many layers. So I'm going to try spraying these guys with this blue paint, let it dry, and then I'm going to try the chalk paint on top of that and see if it sticks. Okay, let's give it a go. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Okay, I've shook that a bit. I probably shook it quite a bit, actually. Oh. Okay. Oh, and it's a nice windy day. Perfect for spray painting. I'm in the middle of my weedy lawn here, so hopefully I don't... Oh, and they say, nice short bursts. Nice short bursts. Let's try. Oh, oh. oh there you go. You're turning blue. Oh, I totally missed there. Okay, let's, let's get this big daddy over here. Come on, big daddy. Well, I'm doing a fine job of spraying the cardboard. Oh, there we go. I just, I just basically need a coat on it to, to, um, Hold the paint, the chalk paint. Oh, mama. The mama's going the best here. Isn't that how it always is? Mamas. Mamas are the best. Okay. Let's see if I can turn my little box a bit. Get this guy. Big sister. Now, I don't want drips. I gotta be careful for that. I really don't want drips. Drips are by Come on, come on, pain. 
paint work with me. There we go. Almost the best. Looking like a dream. now. Okay, a little bit here. Of course my head's in the way so it's going to uh, have shadows here but just you get the gist, right? You're getting the gist. Oh look, drips. Big Daddy. You're all drippy. Let's just take some of that away. Where was that other drip I saw? Another drip somewhere. See, Mama, no drips. Daddy, what you doing? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Big sisters looking good, looking good. Oh, Mama. Mama's got a spot or two. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Expanding my channel. My creative content is expanding. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. If I need to, I'll come back and give it another little blast. And we'll see what happens. It's pretty color. It's not quite as well, yeah, I guess it sort of matches the lid. Huh? It's can, I thought it like, yeah, no, that's about right. Okay. Gonna let this dry in the sunshine and then I'll be back. Stay tuned. Okay, we're in the house now and we're gonna finish off these quails. My husband told me they're quails, not partridges. So I uh, gave him two coats of spray paint outside and yeah, then I mixed up my um, my chalk paint. I got this here chalk paint called, uh, what's that say now? Art Minds DIY Home Chalk Trellis Gray. I got that at Michael's a couple years ago. Got all my paint a couple years ago. And uh, yeah, I just mixed it with, um, four teaspoons, I put about half a cup of this paint and four teaspoons of baking soda and mixed it up real good. And now we're gonna apply it, apply it to the quail. So I'm gonna need two hands, I think, to do this. And I don't have a, ooh, look at that. I don't have a, ooh. Yeah, I don't have a, um, tripod to hold my <laughs> to hold my camera. This is going to be very professional. Ooh, but I think it's going to look good. I think so. I think it, it is going to look like cement for sure. Yeah. Look at that. My little brush is pretty stiff actually. So I'm going to apply it to all four and then I'll show you what it looks like when they're done. Okay, hang on. Yeah. So, there's the two littlest ones with the first coat on. I think they look pretty cool so far. And then, 
The little one, see how, see how they have a, a hole in the bottom? So I stuck my finger in the hole and I was holding the bird up and painting it all around the little one and didn't my finger get stuck in there? So yeah, that was fun trying to get that off without pulling paint off. So I'll have to touch up some spots, I'm sure, but I'm gonna give it another coat anyway. This, for these two, I decided to hold them by the head and paint like that. So you can see where I've applied it. And I'm just trying to make sure that I, oh, see there, I've got some, some lines. So I'm gonna take my brush and smooth those out. Keep applying until I get it up around its neck like that. And then I'm gonna let that dry so that I can hold it around the bottom and then I'll paint the heads. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give them two coats. I'm also gonna paint the underside. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks when I'm all, when it's all done. Okay, I have applied the gray and let it dry. Took a few coats. Um, but oh, I think it looks so cool. And then uh, once it was dry, I went back and kind of dry brushed some white um, acrylic on it just to highlight the feathers and some of the face, the little cheeks, her beak. Doesn't that look like cement? That's the whole look I was going for, cement, to put out in my yard. I think they turned out so good. Oh man, I don't know. I'm outside in my garage right now and it's a few days later because things happen. Life happens and projects get put to the side. But yeah, I'm out in my garage and I hope you can't hear my cats fighting outside. But look at her. Isn't that cool? I think they look a lot better than the bright orange and yellow and brown that they were. Look at baby, even did the underside. Yeah, here's Big Daddy. Big Daddy looks really good, I think. His little white uh, tinge on the feathers, I think that looks pretty awesome. Yeah, so now I'm out in the garage because I wanted to Put, oh, I shouldn't shake this up when you guys are listening, that's loud. I wanted to put this on it to seal it. It's a matte clear Rust-Oleum. And um, I think it might seal it up enough to keep them outside in my yard without, you know, the, the cement look being taken off by the weather. So. I'm gonna try, try this and I'm gonna probably do a couple coats and then I'll show you what they look like in my yard when I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna shake this up, make some noise, give them a couple blasts, let them dry in between of course, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're finished. Stay tuned. Look at the monk's hood in bloom. So pretty. I don't know if you can see, but a bee just went right up inside one of those blooms. Oh, maybe he already left. I can't see him, but it's pretty cool. The bees will just go way up inside of those little caps and get the good stuff out of that flower. Yeah, really pretty. It's usually just buzzing once the plant is in full bloom. This little area is just buzzing. Yeah, can you see them? The bees? Cool. That guy just crawls right up in there.
Anyways, I brought you out here to show you the Koyo family. They're done. Don't they look great? They look like cement, don't they? I think they look so sweet. I don't quite know how to position them to where I like them, but they sure don't look like they did. I love them. I'm going to use that technique on uh, a few other projects because I think it's cool. Yeah. I put some rocks in my bird feeder because I think it should be a bee feeder. <laughs> a bee waterer. A bee bath. While I'm here, I'll just show you. Look, my little... Whatever this bush is. Remember I said it wasn't blooming? Well, now she's blooming. And the flowers are so sweet. They're like this precious little pink flower. Look at, look at those. Aren't they adorable? I love it. <laughs> I love everything about my garden. <laughs> look, there's my kitty enjoying the shade. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to finish off by showing you the quails, all done. And I put three coats of uh, sealer on them. So hopefully they withstand the rest of the summer, the winds and the rain. And, and then in the winter, when it gets colder, I'll, you know, in fall, I'll bring them in and pack them up for the season. And we will see them again in the spring. Cool. I loved that project. That was fun. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.